putting an end to identity politics. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Welcome back, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. Hey, how do you use Twitter? Do you, uh, you know, occasionally take a picture of, you know, the little veteran down there, you know, <laughs> giving the salute? Because if you do and you send those over to somebody via Twitter, which I don't I, mean, I don't know how you do it. But Twitter monitors that stuff. Yeah, if you you know what happened to Wiener, <laughs> pardon the pun. But, you know, I, I, and I'm, I'm again, I'm not sure whether he did it through Twitter or did, did it through text. But because they're sexting. But Twitter apparently has been one of these things, places where you do that. I don't even know how you do it because you just, you know, if you take a picture with your phone, do you tweet? I guess you can just tweet it, right? But if you do that and you DM it, which is called a direct message to your paramour, your lover, your, you know, seek whatever, then Twitter monitors this. If you, let me just put it to you this way. Social media is so rife. With the ability to blackmail this country, it's ridiculous. I'm talking about at the highest levels. Most people, they don't care about you. You know what I mean? They don't care. You know, so-and-so put his you know, penis picture out to such and such. Nobody cares. But they're monitoring it. And there was a Project Veritas thing where they, they literally say this. Yeah, there's a team dedicated to it. At least three or 400 people paid to look at pictures of penises. Prene Singh, Twitter engineer, says all your sex messages, all your penis pics, he uses a different word, like all the girls you've been screwing around with, they are on my server now. That's what he says of Twitter. Yeah. And people wonder why, you know, I tell I tell everybody this, whatever you put on social media, understand there's somebody that has it and probably has a nefarious, you know, reason for keeping the data. And if they want to go after you, they're going to go back and look at something and go, here it is. Doesn't matter what it is. You, if you put it out there, it's out there on somebody's machine. And if given enough impetus, they can find whatever it is. So whatever you're going to put out there, no, it can, it can, it can be recovered. And that's why I tell people all the time, if you think I'm running away from a text or whatever, I, I literally go into my social media with that is my credo. This could come back. OK, bring it back. Had a, I don't know, some exchange with uh, I don't know who it was, some girl, you know, hey, hello. They always love the ones. Hello. Because, you know, they're like Russians or whatever. And uh, hello. Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm good. What are you doing? I'm super busy. What do you need? Oh, I don't know. I'm looking for my soulmate. Well, you know, then you better check with my cross-dressing bisexual friend. <laughs> That's a joke if you guys didn't, haven't heard my story about that. But I, I immediately assume you're out here trolling, trying to get me to commit to some oh, whatever. And sometimes I play along. Oh, yeah. Hey, li- yeah. Nice breast or whatever. You know, you happy about those? Are those yours? Did you buy them? What, what's the deal? You know, can I get them? Are they on sale? Is it is it just a two for one or a three for one? What, what do you do? If you bring a friend, is there a bring a friend day? I just go crazy because I presume it's going to get out there. And I want if you're going to write a book, I want to know about it. Just let me know. I want my part. <laughs> But, I, you know, you just have to make that assumption. Seriously, your emails right now, you guys will think I'm joking. So I went to my spam because I have to delete it because I'm, I'm always I'm at, always at the limit. I have too much email and I had to delete it. And there were probably five messages from friends of mine whose websites had been hacked, whose email had been hacked. At least five. I, I could see the name. With the, you know, the gibberish web link that they want somebody to click over to that's going to get you to Russia or, you know, Vietnam or whatever, Nigeria, <laughs> where whatever crap hole country that's trying to rip us off. And I just went, wow. So, you know, Joe got hacked and this guy got hacked. This guy got hacked. Most of them are Yahoo. That's got to be the worst email. Uh, uh, yeah. Yahoo. Because my Yahoo account used to get hacked until I changed my password to just something crazy. Uh, it used to get hacked, I don't know, once a month, 
once every couple of months. Anyway, Twitter, these social media sites, Facebook, Twitter, even Google, they have a record of your entire life. They know more about you than your parents. They know more about you than your wife, your husband, your kids, your best friends combined. And they, in fact, they know more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They know that old Chucky boy went out to, you know, look at the panty shop and he wasn't shopping for mama. You get what I'm saying? They can even attest to that because they go, well, yeah, Chuck, we understand you're going to say that you were looking for some panties for mama son. But in fact, you went to a website for cross dressers. <laughs> now, what's that got to do with this? I rest my case, says Google. Right. That's the kind of stuff they have. No, no, no. If your name is Chuck and you happen to be a cross dresser, I don't know that much about you. That's just a guess. OK, but you get what I'm saying, folks. These people are monitoring you. They are making suckers out of each and every one of us. This guy went on to say, everything you send is stored on my server. You can't blink, delete it. You can't blinking, delete it. It's already on my server. He says, Twitter stores your private data to sell to advertisers and they make a virtual profile about you. They can, they literally go, okay, so Kevin is planning a trip to this. He's flying here. He's doing this, that, and the other. And they, everything you tweet, it just kind of says, okay, he's a staunch conservative. Here you go. Uh, jelly belly. <laughs> I do happen to like some jelly belly jelly beans. Woo, I do. So they'll send it to the person that you're, you know, the group of people, the advertisers, the suits you wear, the ties you wear, whatever. It's all going to those people and they'll target you. It follows you around. It's your cookie. But it's worse than that. It It's persistent. It'll follow you on your cell phone. It's part of your life. You remember that scene from Minority Report where Tom Cruise walks into a thing and it identifies him and then it, you know, it immediately starts catering to him as he's walking by the monitors. That's what they're talking about. It says you're paying for the right to use our website with your data, basically. You leak way more information than you think. He says, like, if you go on Twitter for the first time, we have information about you. And then he gets asked, well, how would you protect people if this power fell into the wrong hands? He says, you don't. That's what the former Twitter engineer, a guy named Conrado Miranda, said. There is no way. Once we have you, you're done. Then people wonder why I built TeaPartyCommunity.org. Because I'm not going to take advantage of you. I don't care what... You, you know, I, all I care about is we're an activist group that goes out and destroys the left. But other than that, your messages are your own. You know, I'm not here to play police over, you know, you wanting to, you know, buy your panties, Chuck. Go, go for it. Unbelievable. Undercover footage project released by Project Veritas is exposing these clowns yet again. I mean, remember, I was part of the. Uh, the the expose of the acorn thing and it was done by same guy James O'Keefe at Project Veritas and I, I just remembered feeling like a part of history I didn't do it James shot the video with Hannah Hannah Giles and the rest is history as they say I ended up on Glenn Beck because of Breitbart talking about it and Andrew I mean uh uh, Project Veritas is now its own entity it's now it no longer needs Andrew got him started and now it's its own thing, and it's exposing the left for who they are. Undercover videos of everything. And the way that they're infiltrating has been masterful. It says, uh, the footage features four current Twitter software engineers, Conrado Miranda, Clay Haynes, Pranay Singh, and Mihai Alexandru Flurea. You would think, with names like that, these people would be so ecstatic about being in America, part of America. I know you're, Kevin, you're assuming that they're doing, well, I, look, I'm looking at these names going, these are not American names. These are first generation, second at best, uh, ex, you know, expatriates from other countries, mostly India. In one case, maybe Conrado Miranda, maybe he's, uh, you know, from Spain, but they've come here. To take, you know, to be part of the American fabric. And instead of embracing that, they're underhandedly dealing with the bigger, big part of the country. And by the way, the part of the country that makes this country what it is, it makes it great. You, you and me. Teams dedicated to looking for extortionable materials 
on folks. Remember the person who cut off President Trump's Twitter page for even whatever length of time? You can bet that they have dedicated people at Twitter who do nothing except wait on President Trump to tweet and to get his data or when he deletes a tweet. You can bet your money on it. How sick are these people? Paid to look at pictures of penises so they can potentially extort people. He won't stop until he's the top-rated radio talk show host in America. What kind of weird competitive freak are you? This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.